trendybeats.com Welcome back to my channel guys. This is the review of the HP 200 G4 all-in-one desktop unboxing and setup. Welcome back to my channel once again. If you don't subscribe, do subscribe to my channel. All I have to do first is to unbox this carton. So I'm going to remove the hindrance by using a knife to open the carton up. Then this is me opening the carton up and then I have a manual here. This is the monitor that came with the only one PC. Then I'll drop that on the table. I would try to bring out the cartons that came with the compartments. These are two cartons. I don't know what are inside. Well, we are going to check it out. Then there's the desktop itself. These are only one PC. Oh, this is another carton. I guess this is the keyboard. Then this is the only one PC itself. Then I'll bring that out as well. So it came with some packaging, some wrap and some guide. I'm going to remove the guide. I'm going to remove the wrap. And I have the desktop right here this desktop itself is an only one pc where you don't need a you don't need a cpu or other adjustments it just came with the monitor which has all the processing units and all you need to do is to add your inputs and to add your input devices like keyboard and mouse then i'll just remove the wrap i'll just remove the wrap okay this is me removing the wrap away from the desktop itself okay so we need a stand it cannot stand on its own this way this is the all in one pc you cannot slick the memory card slot the usbs the uh, power ports and every other thing you need to have on your desktop is right here in the all in one pc then i'm going to open up one of this curtain and here is the stand that would make the desktop stand i'll remove that from the carton and i have the keyboard here as well i'll remove the keyboard from the carton as well then i'm going to remove the wrap from the keyboard and bring out the keyboard so we have our keyboard we have i think our mouse should be here i'm going to remove the mouse as well okay i have my power cable and it came with two power cables and the mouse the mouse came with it right here then we have another manual inside this compartment i'm going to bring out the manner and i'm going to drop it i don't know what the manual is all about but i don't really think we need a manual since you are watching this video the manual will just be about the setup we have two power cables you can keep one and use one so we have the two mount and the three mount socket plug then we have the adapter itself that comes with the power cord this is what will power the system that's where that will power the system then we have the we have the mouse itself it's looking all right all i have to do is to bring out the stand and set up the stand for the desktop because the desktop cannot stand on its own so we have so we have to use a stand all you have to do is to unscrew this and and screw it in back then we have the hole where you're going to put the stand right here all you have to do is just to put it in and screw this in then the stand will fit in the right way all i have to do now after fitting it in all i have to do is to screw it is to screw it as i've said and i'll screw it in and make it fit in properly okay i'll do that right away screwing it in all you have to use is your hand you just have to use your hand to screw it in it's just a rolling kind of screw where you can use your hand to screw it in all right we have it fitted in already so the desktop can stand on its own now after putting in the stand then we have all the inputs and outputs kind of ports okay then we have our keyboard right here we're going to move the keyboard and plug it in one of the ports we're going to plug it in one of the ports we have right here all we have to do is to plug it in in one of the ports and i'll do that right away i'll plug in the mouse as well in one of the ports and you can plug in your output device which is speaker and maybe other thing your flash and all that that's about four ports i'm going to input the mouse as well into one of the port then i have the power cord all i have to do is to unwrap the power cord and put it in so we can we can power on the system and do some basic setup is a new system is a new desktop so it comes with its own windows and we don't have to install any windows it came with its own windows 10 then we have the power cord right here after removing the wrap i have to 
input the power cord into the adapter that will power the system so we have two power cords like i said we just have to use one so you can keep one then all i have to do is to plug in the power cord into the adapter then plug in the charger itself so we can power on the system you have to put in the charger into the you have to put it into the port it should be and plug the power cord to the circuit so i'll do that right away i'll plug the power cord to the circuit and i will input this into the desktop itself okay then we're going to input that right away and you can see the lights blinking already the light is on all i have to do is to power it on okay and yeah that's been powered on and we have different manuals here i'll now go through them when you get it you can get to see them since you are watching this video and we have the um cd rom we have the lan cable we have the sd card slot we have two usb ports right here we have okay we have another one down here and so we have about five usb ports and we have a lan cable where you can insert your internet lan cable and you can use the port to, to insert your modem you can insert your flash and all that so this is the desktop powering on windows 10 of course i'm going to wait for that to do the basic setup and clear my desk okay here we are now this is one of the instruction manual it's all about the product information you can open it up and see what it entails and see what is inside and i'm going to bring out the manual inside of it i think it's in different languages we have to bring out it's all about the setup manual just all we've done right here is in this manual in different languages french english and um arabic i guess but I, I like i said i don't think we need it since we are doing the setup already it's all about the setup how to plug in the um stand the power cord the keyboard the mouse so we have um intel right here is an intel system then we have a selfie um the webcam right here we have the um speaker slots the webcam and the breathing and breeze out kind of space for ventilation and uh, yeah, we have everything else that's the power button so we have the power button right there that's where you power it on okay so we have um everything right here all we have to do is to set this up so i'm going to use united states or united kingdom you can use any of those you can use united states but mostly it's preferable to use united states then the next thing we are going to see um the next um keyboard layouts you are going to choose a keyboard layout choose a us keyboard layout so um just keep it and um, want to add second keyboard layout just um skip that and we are going to skip a lot of things right here so you can connect your network or not i don't have a network just click on that you can always do all those updates later continue um this setup the way you like and you accept the windows 10 license agreements this is a license software already because it came with the system then you can leave the password you don't just set in a password you just leave it in and come to the main page that way you set up your system you set up your only one pc this is the hp 200 g4 22 inches and then um, this is the webcam you can always close it up and open it up because of dust you can you can use that button to control the close and opening so this is it closed and this is opening so you can do that let's see what the webcam looks like the webcam maybe it looks so sharp or not guys this is the webcam and this is the audio sound this is how it sounds and this is what it looks like using the webcam it's not so sharp i don't really like the webcam so you can easily get to understand our webcam for it i will give you one of those webcam by blankets for it later in my youtube channel so and this is the device specification if you don't know how to check device specification watch this video in the card then we have the storage is about one terabyte so that's all about this only one desktop